on the same day I get this bad boy in the mail, we get the good news. Alrighty then. Put you right where you belong. <laughs> you guys always compliment these, so why not? I'll order another one and I'll be giving it away in this video, guys. Just make sure you're subscribed, leave a like, and comment down below for your chance to win a NECA Texas Chainsaw figure. But my name is Chris and we talk anything and everything movie related here. So be sure you subscribe anyways, because the news we're going to talk about today is Bloody Disgusting has the exclusive. They are reporting that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is getting another reboot. As a Texas native myself, Texas Chainsaw, it's a classic around here. Getting into the details of what they were talking about here. So they are reporting that this is going to be produced by Fed Alvarez. This is the guy who directed the Evil Dead reboot and the movie Don't Breathe. Both fantastic horror movies. Evil Dead is up there with being one of the best horror remakes ever made. Too bad he didn't get a sequel though. Unfortunate though that he's not directing this Texas Chainsaw movie because the man is so talented. But still, if he's producing, that means he's still in charge of how the story is going to go, who he's going to picked to direct this thing and get the vision put out there i mean it's kind of the same deal what's going on with jordan peele and his Candyman reboot even though he's not directing it he is producing it overseeing the project making sure everything's tip type and jordan peele in the hard genre has done some nice things so maybe fed alvarez is trying to do the same thing for all we know he could have got a bad taste in his mouth from the way he handled the evil dead reboot even though i say that's a great horror reboot for the time people were kind of iffy on it so maybe he just didn't want to try his hands at another reboot i just don't get what's the deal with with these really high level hard directors who are like oh the classics yeah i'm not gonna touch those i mean you have jordan peele he didn't want to do it now you have fed alvarez even james wan who i bet was asked to do a nightmare on elm street reboot with warner brothers and he passed on it to make his own original horror content. Which I guess is what we should be more happy with, is more original content. As opposed to just rehashing these old classics over and over. But getting back to Texas Chainsaw, they do report a few details of what the plot could possibly go on. They're saying that it's going to be a direct sequel to the 1974 Texas Chainsaw movie. And yeah, I always wondered, I kind of always pictured that, you know, he's still on the road there 40 years later, still going a maniac. I would love if that's how they opened up the sequel that just ends. 40 years later, and he's still doing it. That's that's dedication right there. But at the same time, this has actually already been done before. Not even with the Halloween franchise, where they do a direct sequel to the first movie, but even in own Texas Chainsaw's reboots, they've already done this. I'm sorry to bring this up, guys, but Texas Chainsaw 3D... Ugh. Had a baby barth, my bad. Already did this exact same thing where they ignored all the other sequels and just did a direct sequel to the first movie, and that movie was horrendous. I mean, having the tagline 3D attached to your movie says all you need to know. So it has me a bit confused of why they would try that again. And if I'm being completely honest with you, we've already had the perfect reboot for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with 2006 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That movie is great. I can't believe it was badly received at the time because looking back at it now, I put it in that category of great horror reboots. It has a freaking 13% on Rotten Tomatoes, but that movie is entertaining, it was perfect, and the performance of the actor Arlie Ernie, who played Sheriff Hoyt, was just as terrifying as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that whole family. Again, this is just what Bloody Disgusting is hearing. Things could change as things roll along. The project might not even find its director and it just gets stuck in developmental hell. But if they are going to reboot it, I mean, what? So they go ahead and set it in modern times? The dude was like, what, 30 in the first movie? 40 plus years later? The bro would be pushing 70 and we already have Michael Myers doing that. Do we really want Texas Chainsaw also pushing 70 and running around with a chainsaw? Dude's gonna fall and go, what? To me, this just might be one of those situations of how far can you take it? Because it just feels like they're gonna have to do the thing where they set it in modern times and just retell the story over again. If they do the direct sequel and it's not set in modern times, then what's wrong with putting it after Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2? Because I really enjoyed that film. Even our good friend Chucky, who was in the Child's Play remake, enjoyed that film. I'm really mixed about this. The only thing having the saving grace attached to it is Fetty Alvarez's name. I just really wish he was directing the thing, but as producer, he's still has a clear vision and he'll find an up-and-coming director probably like an Alexander Aja who just did the movie Crawl or heck get the writers from A Quiet Place who just recently did the movie Haunt. They both understand suspense and environment, creepy music and gore because 
Texas Chainsaw is a pretty gory dude ripping off faces. I'm happy to hear that he's getting a reboot and we'll get another movie because I'm just always happy to see these guys continue being in theaters. But I am stumped on what could happen and where they could move forward. But also, I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre getting a reboot? Are you excited for you? Could you do without? And which one from the series is your favorite one? And also, like I said in the spirit, if you want a chance to win your own NECA figure, I'll probably ship it to you through Amazon Prime the same way I got mine. So just subscribe, leave like and comment down below and you can get one too and don't forget to follow me on twitter at 3c film review as always i'm chris take care